Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. We're getting ready to send down a couple of boosters today. One of them is this Midland Ross off of 72 Cuda. Looks like Mark sent it in. Uh, this one's going to uh, Australia. So, anyway, it went well. Turned out really well. This unit is extremely smooth, the guts, and it played it back out nicely. Yeah, we haven't thrown the boot on, but as you can tell, it's almost impossible to activate manually. That's your manual brakes, but once we put some vacuum to it and get a little bit of help, then everything changes. Do this on the bench. Final check before you send this thing out across the world. As you can see, once we apply vacuum to her, all of a sudden it becomes quite easy. Nice and smooth, nice, complete, total rebound. That's what power brakes does for you. Now, that's just my thumb. It's just my thumb. And before, with no vacuum, we couldn't do anything. So, there's with the engine running. We ought to have some reserve capacity. So now we've disconnected the vacuum source or shut off the engine or what have you. Now if the can leak vacuum, of course, all that vacuum would leak out and we wouldn't have any power assist. And normally we ought to have enough for one or two emergency breakings. And of course, we just saw that the power assist function worked. Now we're checking to make sure we don't have any can links. No, they won't hold vacuum indefinitely. Weren't designed to because the motor's running. But they hold vacuum pretty well, especially his unit. Watch this. There's one. There's two. Now she's exhausted her reserve. You can hear the sound. So, that right there tells you that that is a perfect working Midland Ross. There you go, my friends. 72 Cuda going to Australia. Hope you enjoy, Mark. God bless you. God bless America. And happy Moparin'.